Hi guys, welcome to Bullet Gaming. Today I'm gonna take some time and speak a little bit about the Mad Pack and the recent nerf it has received. There is no doubt when I say that the Mad Pack is the most powerful gadget in Battlefield 4 and it was in Battlefield 3. It is what made Assault class so powerful in both these games, effectively forcing the players that wanted to perform good on the battlefield to actually gravitate around this class. Now, DICE is trying hard to actually balance out everything in this game, so what they did was not change the healing power of the Mad Pack, but instead trying and tweaking how it works. So now, post-patch, every time you will be suppressed, you will not be able to heal. This means that if someone is shooting in your general direction and you're around the corner and you are on healthier health, you will not be able to heal anymore. So the med pack will actually work only when you're out of suppression. Now, starting with the things I like about this concept, well, it can be used tactically. Now it finally makes sense to try and use suppression fire. Let's say, for example, a situation where we all have been in. Sometimes a guy peeks around the corner, we get a really good shot at him and probably is like retreating with two health or one health and we just run straight at him thinking that he will be almost dead and five seconds later we just peek that corner and the guy's on 100 health and you're dead. That's something that I never liked about the game, the ability to actually heal and at the same time uh, if you're playing as a sniper sometimes you get two shots on a guy and maybe yeah, you miss the shot in between but you don't kill him just because he's sitting on med pack and that's something really really bad. Now starting with the things that I don't like, I think this can become a little bit of a problem and as uh, I've been pointed out from one of my friends, when you actually play maps like Locker, a 64 man server, well explosives become extremely powerful because they will give you suppression all the time together with a little amount of damage, so if you don't want to die you will have to stay away from the doorways. And this can seem like a good thing, but at the same time, you will be forced to use the same tactics against the enemy, making the game even more of a spam fest. It's my personal opinion to think that the mad pack how it is right now will piss a lot of people off. I can't quite understand what DICE is trying to do with this, trying to introduce a little bit more tactic in the use of the gadget, knowing that suppression can have a certain effect on players. But the fact is that I don't see people actually using this directly and intentionally to actually avoid an enemy from recovering health. And what this does is actually removing the skill gap between good players and bad players. And even if this might seem a noob friendly thing, well, it's not actually good for the game and the gaming community. Because if you think about it, if anyone can reach the skill cap that quickly, well, at this point there is no point in trying to improve and trying to be better at the game. And when that is not the case, well, you see a lot of people picking up the game, playing it for a couple dozen hours and then leaving. While at the moment we have people that have hundreds of hours in game and keep having fun with it. It will be nice to see that if we get shot by a guy that has a suppression perk, and is shooting at me with a light machine gun, well, then you actually get that effect. You cannot heal while under his suppression. But at the same time, I don't want my ability to heal to get blocked from a guy that is shooting at me with a pistol. This way the players would use squad perks and weapons that are intentionally made to deny your ability to heal. And I will be more than okay with that. I'm sure with the next patch we will see something like this coming, but for now the only thing we can do is just wait. So, if you liked the video, please rate, leave a comment or subscribe, I really want to hear your opinion on this matter. Do you like how the mad pack is right now, it was better before? Let me know in the comments down below. And until next time, see you on the battlefield.